Good morning, brothers and sisters. So I wanted to bring to your attention an article entitled Sola Scriptura and Cyber Worship by Jacob Trotter. If God owns the church, shouldn't his word take priority in how it is structured? Yet this article from the Christian Post promoting the shift to virtual church lacks any interaction with scripture aside from one twisted application of Mark 2.22. The article references youth engagement, potential missional opportunities, and survey results to argue for the importance of virtual reality church but never stops to consider God's own word on the subject. In that sense, proponents of the virtual church aren't merely attempting to redesign worship services and congregations according to their own tastes and preferences. They're attacking the authority of God's word in his church. Redesigning our churches according to our own fancies without regard for God's word is to functionally abandon the authority and sufficiency of scripture. It flouts God's own instructions for how he must be worshipped. The reformation the church desperately needs isn't the product of some new strategy or emphasis. Believers don't need someone to blaze a new trail or cast an exciting new vision for the church to match the perspectives of the 21st century. Instead, a new understanding of sola scriptura, the sufficiency of scripture, ought to spur us to keep reforming our churches to regulate our worship according to biblical guidelines and to desire passionately to be those who worship God in spirit and in truth. We must either conclude that God has given sufficient instruction for church conduct and worship, or that God's word has failed in its stated purpose. And because God's word cannot fail, it should be our desire to bring every aspect of our church conduct under the authority of Scripture.